Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this boost converter that I got from eBay and it was pretty cheap, I think it was around one or two dollars. You feed in five volts using a micro USB cable and then you have an adjustable output anywhere up to 28 volts. So five volts in and up to 28 volts out. This can be very useful for doing experiments around the home if you want a very simple adjustable voltage power supply. So let's plug this in and take a closer look. So I've got it plugged into a USB power bank and you can see it's currently measuring 10.7 volts and if I adjust the pot here we should see that increase. There you go, 11 volts, 12 volts and I can take that all the way up to 28 volts. Now I'm not going to go all the way there because it's a little bit awkward holding my probes on this so let's put a connector on this so we can measure it much more easily. So I've soldered on this DC jack and not only will this make it easier for us to measure the voltage, it will also allow us to plug this into 12 volt devices or other devices we want to test and we'll be doing that in a little bit but first of all let's just have a look at the voltage range. So if I turn this pot clockwise that will be reducing the voltage. So if we check it now you can see we're getting around 5.3 volts and if I turn it anti-clockwise we should see that increase. And you'll see that the power bank keeps turning off because there's no load. So 5 volts, if I turn this anti-clockwise, 6 volts, 7 volts, 8 volts. And I'll turn it all the way to the top. You can see it's turned off again. Let me turn it all the way to the top to see what the highest voltage is that we can get out of this. And there you go, we've hit the upper limit, 30.44 volts. Pretty good. Anyway, let's set this back down to 12 volts and then try test it out with a load. Now I had to swap power banks because the other one was low on battery. I've got the boost converter here going through my watt meter and into this LED projector. Now this projector runs on 12 volts. It doesn't consume much power, but it does require 12 volts. So if we go ahead and turn this power bank on, you can see on the watt meter here, let me see. You can see on the watt meter here, hopefully you can see that on camera, 12.8 volts and if I turn on the load, it's drawing around 0.1 amp, 1.3 watts, but it hasn't fully booted yet. Okay, there you go. So we've now got light coming out the front. It looks like it's flickering on my camera, but that's just an effect of the refresh rate of the camera. But you can see it's actually only drawing like 0.2 amp or 2.6 watts. So it doesn't consume much power, but it does need the voltage 12 volts. So this is an example of when you might want an adjustable power supply, because you can just take this along with your USB power bank, and then you can have 12 volts, 16 volts, 19 volts, 20 volts, all the way up to 30 volts. Now of course it can only handle so much power because one, your USB power bank or your USB power supply at the wall can only provide so much power and two, this little boost converter does have a limit to how much power it can actually provide. Another example could be powering your router. Let's say you've had a blackout or a brownout and you want to continue surfing the internet because usually your provider has a battery backup for your internet and telephone line. So if only you could provide power to your router, you could continue surfing the internet. Well, using this little boost converter, we can step up the 5 volts to 12 volts and continue surfing. Now, I showed in a previous video that many of these will actually operate off 5 volts directly, but let's say you've got a stubborn one which wants to only operate off 12 volts or 19 volts, then this might be the option for you. Of course you have to make sure that the current it draws is within the limits of the boost converter and of your USB power bank. So that was just a short video but there's not really much to say because it's just a standard boost converter. The only thing that sets it apart from other ones is it's got the built-in micro USB port which makes it very easy to use with your USB power bank or your USB water supply and it makes it very portable because all you have to do is put a little connector on the end and you can use it with a ton of devices. So yeah just a short video but I thought some people might find it helpful. So if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.